So let's get into it, Aquarius. Um, when I was getting into your energy, there were a couple things I saw and heard, actually. Um, one of the things I saw was this, like, huge flight of stairs leading up um, to a white door. So to me, Aquarius, it's like you only have a few more steps to go until you're really there to open the portal and go to a new chapter in your life, to a new beginning of something else. Um, and then I was hearing the song, Eye of the Tiger, um, from Rocky. And I then it's like kind of showed me like the whole scene from Rocky when he's running up all those stairs and he's like in his those gray sweatpants just working his ass off and then he's at the top and he's just like throwing those punches in the air. And it's like Aquarius, I feel like if this isn't you, um, someone or yourself, it's just like you've been working really hard. I feel like one of you or both of you have been really hurt by this connection or whatever connection you are having with someone. Um, I don't think it went very well. There was a bit of um, either it was like on and off or the person just wasn't there for you. Uh, didn't really want to commit, just wanted to have fun. Whereas you started to really like feel for this person or at least start to like really want to see what could be taken elsewhere and things didn't turn out in some of your favors and you were like, fuck it, I'll just, I'm just going to leave this here. And you, I feel like Aquarius, you were the one to kind of walk away being like, you know, I'm done. Like there's not much else I can do. Some people don't change and it hurt a lot. But Aquarius, I think that was more like a couple months ago or even last month. And now you're kind of at that point where it still hurts, but it wasn't as painful as it was before. And slowly but surely, you're getting over this person. Slowly but surely, you're climbing each step up that flight to where you need to go so you can close that chapter finally out of your life. But I do feel like for some of you, it's still kind of lingering on. Um, and, you know, this is retrograde season, so it could be a chance of reconciliation, but... Aquarius, I feel like some of you even at this point are just like, I don't really care if they even come back for some of you. Um, others of you, it's like you'd be willing to hear them out. You'd be willing to hear what they have to say. But for you to get involved like that again, it would have to take a lot because you've just done so much healing, so much growth, so much. Um, and it's not like some of the Virgo reading, if you um, are interested in Virgo, or have Virgo in your chart, I suggest checking it out. But it was like they had a lot of like spiritual growth and for you Aquarius it's more of like getting over this person and you just had to train mentally to like be like I need to stop thinking about them I need to move on I need to just change my mindset about the situation and I feel like for a lot of you you've done a really great job at it so congrats Aquarius I'm kind of excited to get started oh and there was one more thing I did see um as I was lighting actually the sage um because I pre-sage all the sh the readings before I get into them, the the flame of my lighter, that pink lighter that's sitting there that you see, was purple. So to me, it's like there's it's like this strong spiritual energy that's trying to either break through you and like help you come through to the other side of that portal I was suggesting suggesting, sorry, or it's like that spirit's within you, Aquarius, and each day as you go up that flight of stairs, it just grows stronger and stronger. And it's a lot of you are very spiritually in touch. Like a lot of you meditate, a lot of you, um, you know, get in connection with the universe, whether that's through tarot, whether that's through prayer, whether that's through meditation, what have you, Reiki. Um, you, some of you are very much in tune and it's just growing and growing. Um, and that purple flame is very, it's growing stronger in you, Aquarius. So for those of you that that resonated with, keep it going. But let's get into it. Um, this is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs of Aquarius. Um, I can't read for every Aquarius in the world, and it's not uncommon if a general reading doesn't 100% resonate with you. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my guides, you know, lead me to provide the messages that I say in these videos. If something doesn't resonate with you, Aquarius, then either that message wasn't for you or, um, 
you know, it just means something to someone else and that's totally fine. If none of the reading resonates with you, Aquarius, I suggest checking out your moon rising and Venus signs because regarding the planetary placements in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more. Cross watchers, hi, if you're interested in Aquarius, you're very welcome here as well. Um, for this reason that cross watchers are also watching this video, I'm picking up on cross watcher energy as well. So if cross watcher or Aquarius, you hear me say a scenario and you're like, oh, well that was totally reversed and flipped, go ahead and reverse and flip it. Um, energy is very fluid, so you can do that if you feel like that's how it resonates best with you. And we all have divine feminine and masculine energies. When I describe the feminines or masculines, I'm referring to energies, not gender. If it, anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. All right, let's get started, Aquarius. So yeah, something's definitely come to like a complete halt. Um, and it's kind of, you know, I think at first, Aquarius, you were really frustrated by it. You were really like, you know, just, you really wanted it to get going. You were waiting and you were waiting and you were hoping that it will like one day just get to that point and it just never was. And so at first it did really hurt you, but I think now Aquarius, you're just kind of like, well, it, it sucks. It ended, but what can I do? There's only a moving forward from here. I can't just sit and wallow in it forever. So I think that's kind of where you are now, but the spread is going to be for who you're thinking about currently as we watch this connection, how they feel about you and what you, they think about you. So let's get this going. Angels, spirits, and guides, please provide me with the first card. Start off the reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid to end July. Ooh, the cards are jumping, Aquarius. Either you or this person that you're connecting with or still watching this video for have a lot to say and it's not being said. It's not being said. Whether it's you or both of you or one of you, just not communicating with the other. I'm getting the sense it's because it's too painful. I don't know if that's how you feel, Aquarius, or it's how the other person feels, but it's like if they were to re-spark this up again and it were to fail, it would just be too painful and you just you just went through that obstacle and what's the point of going through it again, you know, if it fails? I don't know, one of you or both of you think that way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Aquarius. Um, I'm seeing two fives on the board, so that is a lot of change, and I kind of feel like that was the change I was describing that at least you're going through. Whether that's like mentally, a lot of you are just like, I'm getting over this, I'm stopping thinking about them, but a lot of conflict still of how they feel about you. You may have stopped, you know, at least starting to stop, or for a lot of you, getting over step by step this person, like I said, with that flight of stairs, but they are still very conflicted with you. And I say that because we have the Five of Swords here. Um, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and yourself, Aquarius. So, this is, you know, mentally they're conflicted about what to do. It feels as if sometimes it's like, for some of you, I feel like this person just wanted to kind of like, they like to get a rise from you. They like to kind of like pick at you, maybe tease you a little bit, but even though they would act like it was just a joke or like calm down when you were actually annoyed and you kind of reacted, they're like, whoa, what are you, what are you talking about? I was just kidding kind of thing. And you're like, well, why would you say that? 
you know it, it was like something like that where it was like they try to be playful they try to be cute but there's something behind it where it's like they like to see you mad or they like to get a reaction from you and for some of you it was just kind of like why why do you like to see me all riled up and i think there's a couple of reasons why for that aquarius some of it's because they want to see how much you care like, if they were to, like, oh, yeah, my ex hit me up, or this girl or this guy DM'd me and, you know, said I was cute, it was just, like, they wanted to see what you would react to that or how you would react to that to see if you would care. But I, I don't know how I feel about that, Aquarius. It's kind of, like, be mature. Talk things out. Like, you know, obviously, if I'm talking to you, I like you. Obviously, if I'm dating you, I like you. Um, for some of you that were maybe married to this person, I'm seeing there some of you could have be getting a divorce right now or just a separation. And it's like, I married you for a reason. Um, like, why are you just trying to play these games with me? Um, but it was like they wanted to come off as playful though, so it wouldn't really look like, you know, it was their fault for instigating it. It would be like, oh, well, you're the one reacting. I was just kidding. And it's like, you're smarter than that, Aquarius. Like, I mean, everyone knows how, you know, not to toot your horn, and I'm an aqua, aqua moon, so not to toot my own horn, but it's like everyone knows the intelligence of an Aquarius. You can't outmaster the mind game of with an Aquarius. It's kind of like a Scorpio in a way. Um, so they think they were, like, putting, like, these little tricks on you and getting away with them, but you knew it. You had a mental note. You're, like, noted. You know, that's nothing new. So I feel like it's like they still want to keep this energy going of like. So I'm looking at this card even intuitively, right? I'm seeing what's on the um, images and it's like. They kind of playfully just wanted to make you more vulnerable. Um, nudity to me in the tarot is vulnerability. And it's like they wanted to kind of use their little jabs, use their little um, jokes or, you know, little side digs. To kind of just get you more and more vulnerable to strip you down bare to really see like what is under your detachment what's under your coolness like maybe for some of you it was like they felt like oh aquarius doesn't react enough because you know there's not much that gets their aquarius going i mean maybe like political conversation philosophical conversation but as far as like petty little jealousy little trivials not much can get a rise out of an Aquarius and um again that's not for everyone Aquarius but it's like they but they I felt like the more they did it and the more they saw what you would react to and what you wouldn't it's like they would just uncover the layer of each like an onion kind of just like okay there I saw that reaction from an Aquarius I got that one down let's see how much deeper we can go and to me that's kind of shitty because if you just want to get to know me then just ask don't play these little games don't try to like and like why would you want to even see that side of me you know I, I don't know Aquarius and how they feel about you so yeah if you guys are definitely not in conversation right now um this is the five of wands two fives here major changes okay if you guys aren't together right now, uh, they still watch you, absolutely, regardless of how it ended. Um, I don't know, maybe you've tried to block them, but they still somehow keep tabs on you, whether that's through their friends' accounts or whether it's through them, you know, it was kind of like the Pisces reading, I have to say, that, um, so you could be dealing with a Pisces, or you have Pisces in your chart, um, but it's like they may be creating like fake profiles and like you see this is retrograde season so it's like people can get a little nutty and get so nutty to the point where they want to go back to someone that they're willing to do what it takes to just gather some info it's weird and so they still watch you regardless if you blocked them or not okay and they're gathering the tools so look we have a cup we have a sword and we have a mirror. So to me, it's kind of like they're gathering the resources they need to, you know, by watching what you're doing, seeing what you're up to, what are you liking, who are you talking to, um, who you're engaging with, right? Um, before they try to confront the situation again with you, 
um, it's, it's like, it's almost as if it's this just energy, this combination of five of swords, five of wands. It's a very manipulative, jealous type of energy here. So I'd be careful, Aquarius. Because it's, to me, it's like a game. And it was kind of like similar to your last reading. So if you have checked that out, great. If you're new, I recommend checking it out. And welcome to my channel. But like... It's like a, this thing of like, I just want to win Aquarius. I like, I want to like, it's not even just about like outbesting you. It's like, I want to like, have Aquarius as being mine and prove that I was able to, you know, even through this uh, period of no conversation, that it really was something there. It's, you know, that's the kind of energy I'm getting from this. But they're conflicted about how to approach you. So that's why it's kind of like they have the passion enough to really do all this stuff by like looking into it, by observing what you're doing. But they're not approaching yet. They're just keeping an eye out. And I think they're trying to mentally come up with the best plan because they know you're smart. They know you can pick up on that shit. They know that, you know, you can tell a duck by its waddle and its quack. Like, you know... <laughs> No matter how much you try to dress it up as a pig, I don't know. Some, you know, it's, it's some shit like that. I would just be careful of that, Aquarius. And what they think is Six of Pentacles. So, this is kind of what I'm seeing from this card. Um, Six of Pentacles can be giving and receiving equal give and take. But from what I'm seeing in the imagery of this card, and let me make it so it's kind of... Focused. There we go. What they think is that you're like going crazy without them. And this is why I'm saying this. Because look at their ass still watching you in the back, right? And I don't know. Maybe you're just kind of like been posting one of those like quotes of like um, inspirational kind of quotes on like your stories of Snapchat, Facebook, or Instagram, just like talking about like spiritual involvement or like um, how, you know, you have to stay positive in life or whatever have you. This is just an example of what I'm trying to say. And they just kind of perceive that as like, oh, Aquarius must be going through a really hard time without me. Um, you know, they just must have like this thing where they must be thinking about how hard it is to get over me and they're driving themselves to this you know does this woman look very happy to you this is what they think though it you know oh god it may not even be true per se but they think it's like you're waiting to receive 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 but little does this person know and maybe they can't see from where they're standing you already have all the shit you need you look at all those apples you don't need shit from them look what what, they're coming in with a torn shirt? You don't need that. You got all your shit. So they think you're just waiting to receive. They're thinking you're just waiting for them to come back into your life. And then you'll be all open arms and be like, oh, yes, I've been waiting for whatever bullshit you've been trying to give me. Well, do they know you're stacked? You're good. You're good. Like, I mean, financially, I feel like you guys are doing very well. Um, mentally, I think you guys are doing well, too. I think you're cool. Like, they're just not seeing from that from where they're standing, though. They are, They just think that you're just this mess, and you're not. You ha You know, you give and receive equally. They don't. But they think, you know, you're just waiting there for them to come back in your life, and you'll just be, like, super desperate to have their attention, and you're not. You're not. What they like the most about you, um, and the, uh, by the way, that was Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but what they like the most about you, Three of Cups. So they think you're really fun. They think you're great to be around. They think you're entertaining. Um, some of you guys, I'm kind of seeing drinking games. I don't know if you guys play drinking games together, like Flip Cup, Beer Pong, um, King's Cup, anything like that, and maybe you guys would like play on the same team a lot and you guys would kick ass at like parties or whatever have you 
but if that's not the case, um, you were just a lot of fun to be around. You always knew how to have a good time, whatever situation you were in. Um, you may have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces in your chart, but it's like a, you know, I'm seeing this egg. Is that an egg? Yeah, it's an egg. Um, tied there, it's like a new experience each time, like a new hatching of something fun, something new, something creative, something um, that they didn't experience before. You were kind of like that thrill to them, Aquarius. Like maybe you'd suggest... Um, yeah, let's just take like a trip to the beach or let's go to the mountains and go for a hike and um, or go to a museum or let's go check this movie out. And it's just like you always had something fun planned to do and you never left them bored. Sexually too. Um, yeah, for the feminines I'm picking up on, they really liked like touching you everywhere okay um and they touched you in the right places and they liked how much they turned you on by touching you in the right places like you would tell them like oh you you know where to touch me you know how to get me going kind of thing and for the feminines as well they miss kissing your neck and for the masculines you miss like touching the masculine aquarians i'm picking up on you guys are kind of like the dawn you guys knew exactly where to touch them. You knew exactly how to get them going every time you'd hit that spot. All right? And so that's what they miss, though. It's a bit of a playful energy here. Again, with that kind of lack of commitment. This, like, yes, this is cups, it's water, but it's more of, like, the three of cups, I feel like, is more of, like, an expression of, of like, a short-term kind of thing going on, like a momentarily... Um, or, you know, a brief celebration type of thing. And if you guys, you know, are long distance, it's kind of like you guys had really sexual messages, conversations that really turned them on. Some of you maybe like wrote out scenarios of what you wanted to do for them. Yeah, intense. What they don't like about you. This is interesting, Aquarius. The Ten of Pentacles. So, this is kind of what I'm getting for some of you. And I'm getting multiple messages here, so only take what resonates. For some of you Aquarians, it was like you wanted this long-term full commitment of providing for each other, um, building a firm establishment that's going to last for a long time. Like I said, for some of you, it was like you were ready for the next step, not just for this, like, you know, um, fun little dalliance every once in a while. Like, you guys are like, okay, what's next? Like, I really dig you. You dig me. What can we do next? Like, let's make this long term. We have everything we need. We have all the abundance we need. We provide each other with this, like, you know, especially the feminines. It's like you guys had a lot going and they know that. And that's what I'm kind of getting into for the second group of Aquarians I'm picking up on. It's like, maybe they felt like they couldn't measure up to you. Like some of you when I was picking up definitely are having a, financially a lot of you Aquarians are good. Not everyone obviously, but for most of you, you guys have a well-established job. Um, you get paid well. Um, kind of like Sagittarius is reading, like you guys are getting upgraded. Um, you're upgrading your things and then they see this like they see you in designer clothes maybe they see you um, buying a new house buying a new car and or getting like you know you being like I don't know somehow posting about this new achievement within your career whether on LinkedIn I'm hearing maybe you guys are active on LinkedIn um, but they feel like they can't compare to that. They can't, like, you have so much going for you, and what do they have? They only have to look at you and be like, God damn, how am I ever going to do that? But for the main majority of you Aquarians, it's kind of like wanting that long-term establishment, that regal um, commitment that you maybe even thought about, like, thinking this person was someone you may eventually marry may eventually just even not marriage if that's not the case and at least date for a very long time to see where it could go in the future. But they just weren't wanting that. 
even though they saw all the potential you had, maybe it was like either they weren't ready for it. I'm just getting huge committal issues from this person and I think it's either because they had um, pretty crappy relationships in the past where the one, for some of you, it was like this person had one specific very hard heartbreak and it was like they could never get over that after that. Others of you, it was just that they had, you know, not so much of a great family life and so they didn't really know what having real love was like. So this is interesting. Um, their highest hopes, the Seven of Swords. So that this is kind of like that, um, or what they like the most about their relationship, sorry. Seven of Swords, mind game, sneakery, um, you know, this thing of detachment, like maybe they like the fact that it was kind of detached, that they didn't have to go anything further. Like you would be dreaming, thinking of like the future, the flowers of like what could possibly bloom from this while they were like knowing that they weren't on the same page as you as that. And instead of being upfront and honest about you or to you about that, it was just like these like little half promises and oh yeah, one day, it's like, yeah, it's been, you know, a month or two, like, when? You say one day, but when? I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords for this position. Please clarify the Seven of Swords for their highest hopes of this connection. Yeah, you could be easily be connecting with another air sign or someone that just has a lot of air in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but it's a lot of air energy here. Just want to fall on the ground. Yeah, so this is what I'm getting from this combination here, Aquarius. It's like they want their cake and they want they want to have their cake and eat it too. It's exactly what this is. It's like they wanted to have the connection with you, but they wanted it only their way, where they could only be happy with it. They didn't want to accommodate. They didn't want to compromise. They just wanted to have everything, all the emotional fulfillment for themselves. Notice this isn't the Ten of Cups. Notice there's not two people here. But they could care less about what you wanted. They just wanted to run the show. They wanted to have the calls. They wanted to have the say. I just don't like that. Again, this is water energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And it's like they just wanted to achieve this like alone type of status with you, but still have you like around. I just don't, you know, people like that is just kind of, I mean, they have the balls, you know, like what do you, what do you think I'm here to, just to like wait around for when you want me, when you need me and then just leave whenever you want it. I'm not just something I'm, I'm not waiting for your attention. Like what I was saying here, I'm not just here waiting around for you to come back in my life. Like I'm just, you know, desperate for you. It's a kind of a smug energy, Aquarius, very smug. What they don't like about the relationship, the hermit. So you could also be dealing with a Virgo or you can have Virgo in your chart but they don't like so definitely there's been a halt and definitely there's been like no communication or very crappy communication at that and it's like just looking at the color images of this card it's like goes from color up here to like gray down here it's like all the life all the flame all the intensity is just fading out and while you're moving on to newer you're moving on to improving yourself they're withdrawn, you've withdrawn, you both are, and but they are feeling like they still have hope to reflight, like to re-spark this flame with you, Aquarius. And they're just waiting to kind of, they're hoping that if this flame comes back to life, then the color will be back within them, the life will be back within them, and this can be achieved again. But I'm getting, it's just a very non-committal energy a lot to have to do with sex but like at the same time it's like uh, they want to see how much you care and want to see your reactions it's a very very manipulative energy i'm getting smug manipulative energy 
Okay, um, some of you could be still putting off fireworks after well after 4th of July or this person is really interested in fireworks. I don't know if you guys heard that. It was pretty loud, but maybe that's just the um, thing from Spirit saying, yeah, this, they want to re-spark this, you know, like a firework, like boom, like get it going again. But if it's with that energy, that smug, I want to just, you know, play with Aquarius, dig at them and just have my cake and eat it too mm -mm. no you deserve better than that and they would need to change and maybe this is another thing about this card too is that the hermit is about going within withdrawing to really see the light within you and try to bring that out into the existence right from within and maybe they don't want to put in that work they don't want to change they don't want to have to face what who they are Kind of their shitty habits and their shitty behaviors and change that could be part of the reason why this is in this position of the things they don't like about the relationship because they know if they were to approach you they would have to do a lot of soul searching and changing because you're not going to put up with it anymore their highest hopes the wheel of fortune so yeah aquarius they want to see this going they want to see this continue they want the best out of the situation for themselves. I can't emphasize that enough. And it's like, I think Aquarius, they want to put you through the goddamn um, wheel. It's like they want to see you at your worst, bring you back up, kind of, and then bring you back up on top just to see you fall back down. And this whole kind of thing, because they just like having you. They just like having you, but it, that's not love. That's not caring for someone. That's not um, having, you know, sincere, compassionate love for someone. That's just using someone for your own benefit. Whether that's just because you don't want to be alone, you're afraid of being alone, or you just really have no source of... I don't know, Aquarius. It's like they just want this to continue. They want it to turn out in their way, their best way, and just see it you go through all these phases of it like they like to see it when you're at your lowest and they like to see you at your most confident and on top game at any anything in between and they like putting you through that for some of you not all of you but for some of you it's like yeah that reaction thing and they want to see like when they leave you how you're going to react if you're going to be like this or you know Or it, this could be for another reason for others of you, um, other of you Aquarians. Maybe it's just that they want to change this relationship from this bottom tier of crappy communication, um, no source of entertainment whatsoever, and rise it back up again to having this glory of having you, for some of you. Um, but they want the wheel to keep turning. Some of you, in some way, they feel like this relationship was destined that you were supposed to be in their lives. Um, but it's kind of a weird possessive type of thing, not so much out of love, Aquarius. I keep that in mind. And their worst fear, so the Page of Pentacles. Some of you Aquarians could have Earth in your chart, again, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, or you could be like dealing with one of those signs, but it's like, This is what I'm kind of seeing, and I'm going to bring this card out too. I know it clarified the Seven of Swords, but it's kind of matching with this personality. They're kind of afraid of having to give up one of their cups to you. And it's not going to be an offer of love like the Page of Pentacle, I mean Page of um, Cups, excuse me, where it's like a sorry, uh, you know, a motion of, emo um, like moving towards emotion of being like, look, I know I screwed up, I'm so sorry, let me make it up to you. It'd be like, Okay, let me take you out for a date. And then just like, you know, out of their nine cups, just give you one just enough to satisfy you with it. But not really give you enough to where you're completely good. Maybe it would be momentarily. Maybe you'd be like, oh, that was nice. And then they paid for my food. Or that was nice. And then they made an initiative to take me out somewhere. But that's about it, I see it. It's not going to be anything that leads to this Ten of Pentacles. It's a very small offer of, here, I'll just say this or do this for Aquarius just so 
um, they'll think I'm like interested enough to really start a commitment, but really I just want to keep on just having Aquarius in my life, whether it's I'm just with them or just kind of, they just want to get this rise out of you, Aquarius. I just don't know why. I don't know why. It's maybe they were they were treated like that by maybe their parents. Maybe their parents kind of had some weird sort of you have to prove how much you love to me type of crap growing up. I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm getting from this. All right, Aquarius. So I'm going to draw two cards. One card's going to be um, the connection that they feel towards you and what they may not be communicating. And the other card's going to be what spirit has to say about this connection. So let's get a card for a house cross watcher or the person that's on Aquarius's mind thinks about Aquarius. How do they feel and think about Aquarius? How do they feel and think about Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid to end July. Please provide a card. Yeah, see, not much is coming out. It's like they're plotting with that Five of Swords and that Five of Wands energy. Could also be a fire sign. Not so much fire in the reading, but it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with a lot of earth and air in their chart. You deserve love. So for this being in their energy, it's kind of interesting. I feel like this is... I feel like this is them, Aquarius, that... They feel like they deserve love. They deserve love from you or their idea of love, right? And they're going to set their intentions on you. Again, with that, I'm sorry, I just used that to focus. With that bow and arrow, look, it's like as if they are they see you in the background. They're setting their arrow to hunt you back down, Aquarius, with this sort of energy of competition, of just hunting for Aquarius and getting back in as like a game prize, like a hunting game prize, like I was saying earlier. It's like they feel like I deserve love and I know Aquarius is going to give it to me because, you know, this is a remember what they think of you. You're just waiting there for them. Or it's like they feel like they're the one to give you this love, Aquarius. But it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a great feeling about it, to be honest with you. I really don't. I can't lie to you. Um... What does spirit have to say about this connection? What does spirit have to say about this connection? Yeah, even now, Aquarius, I'm just getting a bad feeling in my stomach. Maybe this person just resurfacing is just giving you like, no, I just did all this work. I. I don't want this back in my life and unfortunately it's like this is retrograde season so that energy is going to be really attached in your energy sphere especially if they're not over you you could be over them as much as you are but as long as someone's still like holding on to you that unfortunately your energies are still going to be connected it sucks it sucks ass engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so this is what I see exactly from this Aquarius. Sorry, I'm getting excited because this is like that staircase vision I was seeing. And I don't think this engagement's with them, Aquarius, the person I'm referring to. This engagement is you as you ascend higher and higher up that flight of stairs with that Eye of the Tiger song in the back of your mind. Like, you know what? I'm getting through this. I'm getting over it. As you ascend higher, then more will come into your life. A higher level of commitment where you're going to draw in through the law of attraction someone who's really willing to give you you know all the cups you need someone who's willing to give you emotional availability stability um love protection everything that you haven't received from this other person it's like i'm viewing this as something where it's like spirit has your back and as you continue to progress as you continue to grow Spirit's going to recognize that you're ready for that higher level of commitment and they're going to provide what you need in your life. They're going to give you someone who's going to give this sort of engagement to you that you've been craving for. It's like I almost feel like this was you, Aquarius, where it's like you just wanted this like thirst. They left you kind of quenched and it's like now Spirit sees you for all the work you've done and they're going to quench your thirst, Spirit is. 
And if it's not like, hey, I'm not thirsty, then it's kind of just like at least provide you with someone that you can honestly engage with where you don't feel like it's a game, where you don't feel like it's phony, fake, whatever have you. All right, Aquarius, that was your general love reading for the mid to end July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and comment, like, share, and subscribe. Um, again, I'm giving out this deck, so if you want a chance to win the deck I used for this general love reading, go ahead and check out the description box. I'll be announcing the winners tomorrow, July 20th, so get on it. Um, maybe I'll do it till like the end of the day, July 20th, so don't freak out, okay? Because <laughs> I may upload this later, but love you, Aquarius. Stay strong. Have a good July. Bye, Aquarius.